Joining me this evening on Fan TV after the 13-1 home victory for the Peterborough Phantoms against the Cardiff Fire, I've got defenceman uh, Scott Robson, number 11, and I've got Jack Peacock, so for the first time, I think. So, uh, Jack, I'm going to start with you. Uh, a 13-1 uh, victory and uh, a pretty smart performance from yourself, only conceding the one goal. How is it feeling to get some more ice time? Yeah, no, obviously, I've always been looking for more ice time, um, but supporting the team from the bench is just as good. Obviously, love getting on the ice. Play with these guys even better. Um, have one other game on the ice, but no, it's really good to have some more ice on. And, uh, and of course, a game like tonight, it, it gives you the chance. The, the game as, as a contest was over pretty early, Scott, and I think my, my view is that Cardiff came, uh, skated hard, kept their heads up throughout the game, but they've come to us with a short bench and a lot of the names I might have anticipated were, were, were going to be here weren't. Um, a good session for the Phantoms and, and obviously you've got to play who's in front of you week in, week out. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's a good thing that we um, got off the start pretty good and um, we put them away early. But it's hard playing against these sort of oppositions where we know the short bench and we know that the standard's not there. But I mean, like you said, fair play to them. Like, they came up pretty hard and they skated the full game and their goalkeeper played pretty well, to be fair. I must feel that the Phantoms have made a decent start to the to the season. I think that's four league wins and just the one game where we've dropped the points in uh, in Hull. Pr pretty decent, although I, I think that we've not yet got out of second gear. Yeah, like, I think we've played, like Slav says, maybe one good period the whole season so far. I mean, I think that's 100% accurate. I mean, the game against Hull was a very tough one for everyone. Um, but like you said, we've built, built on that and gradually period by period we're playing better and better and you can see the line combinations tonight are clicking and scoring and I mean that's what you want to see early on in the season uh, If we, we we move on a little bit we've just played uh, three games on on the belt against the National League sides the former National yeah, League sides yeah. uh, next week it's some familiar faces Hull again and, and Sheffield um, a completely different set of circumstances to what we've just experienced. Yeah, I think it's going to be harder, especially after the game tomorrow, going into next weekend. Like it's always hard playing like a lower standard than having to play a better, better standard of hockey. Um, I think that's, that's going to be a big tenor on during the week. So I'm sure Slav is going to have something planned. Um, but I mean, I'm confident in the team. I'm sure everyone else on the team is confident as well that whoever we play against, whoever we compete against, we're going to win. Jack. Uh, uh, none of us, none of the media team, are in the locker room. We, we don't know what's going on. At what point do you get told that, uh, you, that, that there's a chance that you're going to get on? Um, so, right from the start, like Slavin has the team, the lineups of their team, how many players they got. So he says there's a chance that I can come on, um, and I get the like go ahead. Um, usually, in period, like in between periods, um, while we're having team talk, or so. I've got a bit of mental time to prepare myself and stretch and warm up, but no, I always get a good, like, good amount of time to warm up. Yeah, we, we, I mean, certainly we would expect, with the score as it was, for you to come on. You know, the 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 the, the 35, the 40 minute, the 40 minute mark. So, lads, uh, it, it's a long uh, bus journey tomorrow. It's that four and a half hours. It's a big stretch. Um, I, we we suspect that the, some of the Cardiff Fire players that we've not seen tonight might might be a there, I think there's one or two signings during the week that perhaps weren't ready yet. So, uh, so uh, good luck with that, and uh, we'll see you uh, for perhaps what will be a, a bit of a contest on Saturday. I have to say, I'm looking forward to seeing Archer back here and and uh, one or two of the other guys. Yeah, um, it's obviously there's a lot of familiar faces on that team, um, and it's going to be exciting. I'm sure it's probably going to be. I, well, I think it's probably going to be up there with the most competitive game we're going to play this year. Um, I don't know how many times we play Hull in total, but they they look like their team in the other side of the leagues that um, are going to be one of the top teams to be. Yeah, well, thanks for chatting to us, both of you. Uh, good yeah. luck tomorrow night and, and yeah, let's no, look forward you. to Saturday. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers.